The 1981 entry of the initial Abrams main battle tank into U.S. military service inspired General Dynamics land systems to tease the development of the tank's successor. There are currently very few details available regarding the capabilities of this new version, but it is clear from what is known that it will include a number of upgrades to existing M1 tank technology, including perhaps a hybrid conventional electric propulsion system as well as a number of new weapons, sensors, and other pieces of equipment. The new version is called the Abrams X. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So, stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's get started. With 50% less fuel consumption, the Abrams X technology demonstrator has the same tactical range as the M1A2 Abrams while having reduced weight for greater mobility and transportability. The hybrid power pack for the Abrams X, according to the manufacturer, supports the United States Army's techniques for electricity and climate control improve quiet watch capacity and even permit some silent movement. General Dynamics stated in a release that the Abrams X can be a key node in lethal battlefield networks and serve as a bridge from the Abrams SEP version 3 and SEP version 4 to a future tank because it has a smaller crew and AI-enabled lethality, survivability, mobility, manned-unmanned teaming, and autonomous capabilities. Nearly halfway through the 1970s, the Ailing M60 was replaced with the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The M1 Abrams, one of the big five weapon platforms used by the U.S. Army, was created to engage in defensive combat in Western Europe against massive T-72 tank formations from the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact. The next generation Abrams has a special website that is currently accessible. The Stryker 8x8 wheeled armored vehicle from General Dynamics Land Systems has a new base configuration, which you can read more about on this website. Another model of that family is also planned, and it will be outfitted with the Leonidas High Power Microwave Directed Radiation Weapon. The company's introduction into the U.S., as well as GLDS's many unmanned ground vehicle products, which include a TRX track model equipped with a large number of loitering munitions now known as Razorback. On the website are also resources related to the U.S. Army's small multi-purpose equipment transport program. There aren't many specifics on what this new Abrams setup comprises beyond a few taglines like Legend Mode and the next generation of dominance so don't expect to learn anything new. The updated M1A2 System Enhanced Package Version 4, variation that is now being developed for the U.S. Army, is almost probably unconnected to this design, as evidenced by other independent GLDS advertising materials. The following enhancements over the current SEP Version 3 configuration will be included in the SEP Version 4, according to the U.S. military. A third-generation forward-looking infrared sensor, an updated laser rangefinder and a full-color video camera are all features of the upgraded gunner's primary sight. A third-generation FLIR, a full-color video camera, a laser pointer, and an enhanced commander's primary sight. The new reprogrammable XM1147 advanced multi-purpose cartridge for the tank's 120mm main gun has been added to the list of improvements to lethality. A built-in weather station to help with accuracy enhanced capabilities for onboard diagnostics, data exchange, and communication. While the next-generation Abrams design is covered in a number of quick video teasers on the GDLS website, these merely provide a cursory glance at particular parts of a computer-generated rendering. A second advertisement for the next-generation Abrams and Stryker vehicles has also been making the rounds online since at least last week along with a version that has been brightened and sharpened to disclose more details. The Association of the U.S. Army's annual meeting and exposition opens on October 10, 2022, according to this graphic, which also shows the date. Defense contractors frequently announce significant new products and other updates at this event each year. The next generation Abrams appears to include at least some alterations to the overall exterior design of the hull and turret based on what we can see in these various advertising materials. The crew composition in this edition may have changed, however it is unclear if this would indicate so. 
The driver sits in the hull while the commander, gunner, and loader are located in the turret on all current Abrams models. The Kongsberg Protector RS-6 Remote Weapon Station, which is equipped with a 30mm M230 automatic gun and positioned on top of the turret, appears to be the next generation Abrams tank's new armament. The U.S. Army uses this weapon in its compact M230 LF form. The XM914, as designated by the Army, is now in use by the American military as a part of a number of vehicle-mounted short-range air defense systems, including numerous versions that are largely geared on fending off the growing danger posed by tiny drones. The crew of the Abrams would be able to operate the RWS with this cannon without having to expose themselves to enemy fire, providing the tank with a large amount of additional firepower for use against diverse ground targets and lower-end aircraft threats. On top of either side of the forward end of the turret, with the RS-6 RWS in the center behind them, are two raised sensors of some kind, which could be the enhanced gunner's and commander's sights being designed for the SEP version 4 variant or even more sophisticated replacements for them. On either side of the turret toward the rear, what might be components of the Trophy Active Protective System, variants of which are currently mounted on certain existing Abrams tanks of the U.S. Army, are perhaps visible. Based on the design of the turrets, there has been considerable debate as to whether these sensor systems may be Paseo branded. Defense oligopoly Saffron, with its main offices in France, is the manufacturer of the Paseo family. Whatever its specific design, the next generation Abrams concept has come to light at a time when there is a lot of discussion about the future of tanks in general, due to what has been and is still being learned about the usefulness of heavy armor in the battle in Ukraine. Similar pointed conversations are taking place within the U.S. military regarding the use of tanks and other large armored vehicles in high-end conflicts in the future, particularly a possible Pacific-wide struggle against China. As part of new operational ideas that place a strong emphasis on expeditionary and scattered warfare, the U.S. Marine Corps is notably getting rid of its entire fleet of M1 Abrams tanks. While the U.S. Army continues to be dedicated to the idea of operating tanks in a broad sense, it also sees a future in which different tiers of smaller, lighter armed and armored unmanned ground vehicles would play significant roles on the battlefield. The next generation Abrams and the upcoming M1A2 SEP version 4 variants may both have manned, unmanned teaming capabilities, but it is not yet known for sure. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. What do you think of the next generation Abrams? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.